going to go through the steps of making a network share which is a folder on my NAS or my network attached server we're going to set it up so that it automatically mounts each time I log into the machine and we're here on Linux Mint 20 so let's begin this comes from an article or well, this is sort of based off this article here on uh, Tech Republic We'll just come down a little bit here I suggest you come over here and have a look I'll put all all this will be in the all the information in here that we're going to use and the link to this site will be in the description below and you see here before we get started we'll be modifying the FS tab file slash Etsy slash FS tab file and you can see we need to exercise a little bit of caution and we'll need Samba working now this was originally for Windows networks uh, but I've got Samba on my server and everything else seems to be pretty much here in Linux Mint 20 uh, we'll also need to know the IP address of the machine hosting the share which I do know so you'll obviously need to know that on yours as well and then we'll go down and have a look it's not that long and that's pretty much it there this link up here will be in the description below along with all these instructions here let's begin we obviously need the terminal not something I use very often so hold on to your hats let's begin with this here we're going to create this folder called NAS USB and if we have a look in the file system if we go to media this is where I want to put it into media you see there's nothing there so I'm going to run this command here sudo make directory slash media slash NAS USB we paste that into the terminal and press enter put in our password and if we come back to the file manager you can see that it's now created it this next step I'm going to skip because Linux Mint 20 seems to have this CIFS utilities or utils so I'm going to skip it and as recommended by the author of the article we're going to make and save a copy of the FS tab file so we've got something to go back to in case we make a mess of things so let's do that now with this command paste that in press enter and we go to the file manager we have a look in etc and scroll down a little bit there's the FS tab file and there's the copy we've made which we've renamed .old there's instructions here if you need to restore that for whatever reason the cautionary part is, is if you make a big enough mess of your FS tab file your system will not boot or potentially may not boot we're going to get our networking credentials here so this is to do with the the server or where the share is coming from so in my case it's off a, a NAS server and we're going to create a credentials file in our home directory called .smb credentials so I'm going to copy that and I'll just create it here on the desktop by right clicking and going create document and then I'll choose empty file I'm going to rename this .smb credentials so there's our file ready to go we need to put our username and password for the network not for the local machine this is actually for your network so in my case it'll be my username and password for the NAS that I'm using so let's copy this we'll double click the file I'm just going to paste that in and I'll just put in my username 
and my password and I'll save that and then we can close it and then we need to I'll cut we need to paste that into the home directory so we'll click on our username and I'm just going to right click down here and go paste that's gone off the desktop if we go control H on the keyboard we can see there it is there in our home directory if we double click it we can see our credentials inside okay so we've, we're already halfway through it now back to the local machine which is the one we're looking at right now we need to run this command here it's ID and then your username so I'm using the username Peter here so let's paste that in and press enter and it looks a bit confusing but it's really just these first couple that we want here we can see UID 1000 Peter and GID 1000 Peter now you most likely will be a thousand will be the number that it gives you unless you've got multiple users on the computer or something else is a bit different but most of mine seem to be doing 1000 which means that in our next part down here I'll just highlight this there it is there you can see there GID 1000 and UID 1000 which match up here so it's the same for our ID for this particular username on this local machine we're about to edit the FS tab file before that this is the IP address of my server and this here is the the share name on that server NAS USB and I want it to mount on my local machine here at media NAS USB which is the folder and there's media there which is that folder we created up here in the very first step okay so my UID at 1000 and my GID at 1000 is good I've got my IP address to my server I've got my share name I'm here I'm telling the FS tab file where to mount it so that when it runs everything will be if we look in here there's nothing in there at the moment so once all this is finished that will contain all the files and folders from my network I'll just stretch this out a little bit so we just got it in one line there this is the whole line that I'm going to paste into the FS tab file and we're now going to select this here I'll be using nano so I'm just going to paste this into the terminal and that's nano it looks a bit scary but it's not that bad we'll stretch that out as well so we can see it all if we have a look here the greeny blue color is just uh, information this line here this is basically the system of the machine that we're on and this here is the boot EFI so that's the boot petition and here's the swap petition which is actually a swap file in this case so we're just going to use the arrow keys we're going to come down with the down arrow on the keyboard just below the swap file there we're going to select this whole line here and copy it and we're going to paste it in like that looks good so there's my server IP address and the share name on the server here's where I want it to mount in media in that NAS USB folder that we created and all the rest of this stuff here the only thing there's my username there so it's going to look for my credentials for the server in my home directory in .smb 
So again, you may need to change the username and well, hopefully you will use the same SMB credentials name there for the, the file. There's probably no reason not to. And the rest of this here is just sort of more gobbledygook. You can see there the 1000 GID and UID 1000 matches what we did before. So we're pretty happy with that. To save this, we press Control O. So there is Control O, then we press Enter, and then we use Control X. So let's highlight this, Control O, press Enter, and then Control X takes us back to the terminal. And if we have a look in the file manager, you see this. There's the device there, but it's not mounted. If I click on it, it'll attempt to mount it, but it's not actually mounted at the moment. So we're going to use this here to test before rebooting. And this is very important because if something's gone wrong there, the machine may not reboot. So sudo mount slash A. So let's paste that in and give that a run. And that usually means that there it is. It's just turned up actually on the desktop. It's only put it on the desktop there because it's the machine's uh, default setting is to show mounted drives on the desktop. So if we go and have a look in the um, file manager, we can see that it's now mounted and there it is there. And there's all our files inside. There was no errors. You can see it ran nice and smoothly up there when we did that. So we can close the terminal and we're finished with our instructions. And we're finished with Firefox, so we're going to restart. And that should be automatically mounted when we get back in. Okay, it looks like it's auto mounted because there it is showing up on the, the desktop. If we open the file manager, we can see it mounted there. And if we click on it, we can see our files inside. Now part of the reason for doing this is there's a few applications that I use and I use them on different computers. And what it basically means at the moment is every time I log into a computer, I have to click on the drive. So I have to open the file manager, click on the drive before I can start doing things. So I'm going to open this up for the first time. This is a little, it's called Zim Desktop Wiki. So we're going to browse to the directory. So it's in media. It's in the NAS USB, and there it is there. I've just called it fake Zim. This is just a dummy one. And there it is there. There's my little uh, wiki, and I, I can start typing my uh, messages in there. And now I no longer need to open the file manager just to be able to do that. And it, if I now go and get on another computer, that um, I'll be able to see what I've just typed in there on the other computer without any any more input than actually just opening that application up itself. There's a few other applications that I run that won't actually save back to the network unless they think it's a local a local folder somewhere. So by doing it this way, by having that show all my files right here on the, the machine itself, it tricks those applications into thinking that they're um, they're just saving locally, but that'll actually reflect back up onto the server. So if I make a change on one of those applications and then go and log into another computer, those changes will be there. And uh, that makes things a whole lot easier to manage. I'll put those instructions that I used here in the description box, and I'll highlight the specific areas where you need to make changes for your particular case. And hopefully you can go through, work your way through this and be up and running with an auto mount as fast as I was.